to be honest, I really like when Colin Stanner gets uh, Cabernet Franc into his hands because he does such a good job with it. Um, and he's done it again. This is the Stanner's 2017 Cabernet Franc. And as I said, when Colin Stanner gets Cabernet Franc in his hands, I think he just loves the grape. He's got to. To do what he does with Cabernet Franc, you've got to love the grape. Although I've known a few winemakers who didn't love the grape but still did great work with it because, hell, they were just good winemakers. So, maybe Colin's just a good winemaker. I'm not sure. I haven't talked to him about it. I haven't talked to him about his love of Cabernet Franc. This is uh, Niagara fruit from the Lincoln Lakeshore. And it was harvested on Halloween 2017. Yes, October 31st. Ooh, spooky bottle of wine. Then what he did was gave it a little love. Some long, slow, low temperature fermentation. Then he pressed it off in January. And what he got was an absolute delight for any Cab Franc fan. Lots of rich, dark fruit, blackberry and black cherry. But what really nibbles around that core of dark fruit that makes it so enticing is some red licorice. And it just adds an extra element to this wine. Plus, there's some smoke, some pepper, and some other spicy notes to make it almost irresistible. The long finish brings it home, and it is so worth it you bringing some of this home too. It'll sit in the cellar for a bit, but why wait? It's that good. It's the Stanners 2017 Cabernet Franc. It's $30, and I give it four plus stars out of five. I'm Michael Pingus, the grape guy from michaelpinguswinereview.com. Join me again next week. We'll look at another great bottle of Ontario wine. You've been watching Michael Pincus Wine Review's weekly Ontario wine video review. Join me every week as I review another great wine from the most unlikely of wine regions, Ontario, Canada. To learn more, visit the website, michaelpincuswinereview.com. There you can sign up for the bi-weekly newsletter full of views, reviews, video links, podcast updates, and so much more. You can also follow me on Facebook at Michael Pincus Wine Review or on Instagram and Twitter at The Grape Guy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next week.